Good morning guys, Teacher A here and welcome to Gurok Pinoy sa Amerika. So for today, ang lesson natin ay about polynomial equations. So sasagutan natin yung learning task 2, wherein given yung polynomial equation, kukunin natin yung descending order mismo ng given, kukunin natin yung degree, yung leading coefficient, and yung constant term. So expect to siya one by one habang sinasagutan natin yung ating Examples, okay? So, number one, we have negative 3x cubed minus 12x plus 4 plus 8x to the 6th power is equal to 0. First, descending order. From the word itself, descending, ibig sabihin, mula sa pinakamataas na exponent, pababa, and then you will end up having yung inyong constant term. Yung wala nang exponent or walang kasamang variable. So, paano ba yun? I-check natin to. Ano may pinakamataas na exponent? Yun, yung 6. So, 8x to the 6. Therefore, siya ngayon yung mauuna. So, 8x to the 6. Ano yung susunod after ng 6? Si 4, walang kasamang variable, walang exponent. Si x, ang exponent niya ay 1. So, ang susunod ay si 3. So, kukapihin natin si Negative 3x cubed. Don't forget, kasama yung sign. Negative 3x cubed. Followed by yung may 1. So, that's negative 12x. And then, wala nang may x. Therefore, doon na tayo sa may constant term. Yung walang kasamang letter or variable. Plus 4. Then, equals 0. Okay? So, therefore, ito yung descending order ng given na polynomial. Degree. Kapag sinabing degree, that is the highest exponent. So, dito sa given natin, ang highest exponent ng variable ay 6. So, therefore, this polynomial is of 6th degree. Okay? 6th degree. Kasi 6 ang ating highest exponent. Leading coefficient. Ang leading coefficient ay ang numerical coefficient ng term na may pinakamataas na exponent. So, since naka-arrange na to mula sa pinakamataas pababa, in yung first one, which is 8. Pero kung hindi siya naka-arrange na ganito, ganito yung arrangement niya, tingnan nyo kung alin yung may highest exponent. Kung ano yung may highest exponent, tingnan nyo kung yung kasamang number ng variable. So, that's 8. So, therefore, leading coefficient is 8. Okay? Constant term. Walang variable. Walang letter. So, basic given, that's 4. Okay? Ganun lang siya kasimple. Next, number 2. Negative 7 plus x to the 5th plus 4x squared is equal to 0. Descending order. Ano ulit yung pinakamataas na exponent? Ayun, 5. So, therefore, siya yung mauuna. x to the 5th. Ano susunod? Yung squared. So, 4x squared. Don't forget, kasama yung sign. Positive. So, yun yung magiging operation niya. And then, wala nang may x. So, punta na tayo sa number lang na walang x. Negative 7. So, that will become minus 7 sa ating equation. Then, equals 0. Degree. Ano yung highest exponent natin? That's 5. So, therefore, the polynomial is of 5th degree. Okay? Yung degree natin, it's in ordinal. Like, ordinal, number, ordinal numbers siya. 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, ganon. And then, leading coefficient again, ano yung number na kasama ng may pinakamataas na exponent? So, x to the 5th, may kasama ba si x? May nakikita tayo? Wala. So, that means that's 1. May 1 yun, hindi lang siya sinusulat. Okay? Constant term, ano yung walang kasamang letter? Negative 7. There. Next, number 3. Descending order, makukuha ba natin? Not yet. Kasi kailangan natin isimplify yung left side. Paano? Naka-parenthesis siya. That means, i-multiply natin. So, paano ba yun? So, using distributive property, x times 3x to the 4th. So, that's 3x. Ilan na lahat ng x? May apat dito, may isa sa labas. So, lima na ang x natin. Okay? And then, x times negative 8. Pag minultiply ang number at letter, pagsasamahin lang silang dalawa. So, negative 8x. Then, equals 0. Yan, wala ng parenthesis. Nakaayos na siya. Therefore, pwede na natin sagutan to. Ano yung descending order niya? 
Actually, nakais na siya. Five and then one. So we have here three x to the fifth, and then minus eight x equals zero. Okay. Now, ano yung degree? Ano yung highest exponent natin? Five. Therefore, our polynomial is of fifth degree. Leading coefficient. Ano yung number na kasama ng may highest exponent? Three. Constant term. Ano yung number na walang kasamang letter or variable? Meron ba? Wala. Uh, that's, that means it's zero. So, either zero is susulat nyo or none. Depende. Pakitanong nyo na lang sa teacher nyo kung ano yung gusto niyang ilagay nyo. Okay? So, that's number three. Let's move on sa last number. We have x plus 1 times x minus 2 quantity squared is equal to 0. Magagawa na ba natin agad-agad to? Not yet. Kailangan isimplify muna natin to. So, unahin natin yung may exponent. x minus 2 quantity squared using the special product formula square of a, square of a binomial. Square the first term. Sabihin multiply si x by itself. x times x ay x squared. Again, shortcut na yung ginagawa natin, ha? Special products. Hindi ko na siya iisa-isahin. Second step, multiply the first by the second. x times negative 2 ay negative 2x. And then times 2. So, negative 2x times 2 is negative 4x. And then after that, multiply the last term by itself. Negative 2 times negative 2. That's positive 4. Yan. So, therefore, Itong x minus 2 quantity squared, pag simplify is x squared minus 4x plus 4. Tapos na ba? Not yet. Kasi meron pa tayong x plus 1 sa labas. So that means, multiply si x plus 1 dun sa naging sagot natin. x squared minus 4x plus 4. So multiply natin. Ito ko lalalagay sa ilalim. Hindi naman natin siya magigamit. There. Okay, na palang pangbura yung daliri. Okay, so using distributive property, x times x squared, isang x, dinagdagan pa ng dalawang x, di tatlo na x natin, x cubed. Next, si x, i-multiply kay 4, negative 4x, kopyahin si negative 4, ilan na lahat ng x, isang x dito, isa doon, so dalawa na sila. And then, x, multiply kay positive 4, letter tsaka number, pag minultiply, pagsasamahin lang. Plus 4x. Tapos na ba? Hindi pa. Kasi may 1 pa tayo rito. Si 1 naman ang multiply natin isa-isa. So, 1 times x squared. Of course, that's x squared. Any number or letter, pag may multiply kay 1, yung sagot, yung mismong given. So, therefore, kahit isa-isahin natin to, ito pa rin na magiging sagot. 1 times negative 4x is negative 4x. Next, 1 times positive 4 ay positive 4. Next, combine similar terms. x cubed. Meron bang x cubed dito? Wala. So, therefore, kopyahin lang natin siya. Next, si x squared. Merong negative 4 x squared dito. Merong x squared doon. Combine natin. Isang negative 4, isang positive 1. Hindi lang siya sinusulat. Magkaiba ng sign. I-subtract. 4 minus 1 ay 3. Ano ang sign ng sagot? Negative. Kasi mas malaki si 4, negative siya. So, negative 3 x squared. And then, pagsamahin yung may x. Isang positive 4x dito, isang negative 4x. 4 minus 4 ay 0. So, makakancel out na lang siya. And then, ano last term natin? Plus 4. Equals 0. Ayan. Okay? So, therefore, eto na yung bagong given natin. X cubed minus 3x squared plus 4 is equal to 0. Descending order. Actually, nakaayos na siya. Nung sinimplify natin, nung kinambay natin yung similar terms, inayos na natin siya from highest exponent down to the constant term. So, kapihin na lang natin siya. X cubed minus 3x squared plus 4 equals 0. Ano yung degree niya? Ano yung highest exponent natin? That's 3. So, therefore, the polynomial is of third degree. Leading coefficient. Ano yung coefficient or number na kasama na may highest exponent? 
Ito may highest exponent. Wala na naman tayo nakikita. That means that's 1. And then, ano yung constant term? Ano yung term na walang kasamang variable or letter? That's 4. Yan. Ganyan lang kasimple ang learning task number 2. So, guys, kung nakatulong ang aking video sa inyong lesson, kindly give me a like para share to ni YouTube sa iba. And I'm inviting you to please subscribe sa aking YTC. Gurong Pinay sa America by Teacher A and also paki-like ang aking FB page same name Gurong Pinay sa America by Teacher A para pwede niyo akong i-PM ng picture na yung module or kahit na anong lesson na pwede nating gawa ng tutorial video next time. Okay? Katulad ng ginagawa ng iba. Kaya marami na akong videos ngayon na iba-iba kasi marami na nag-PM sa akin ng lesson na gusto nilang gawan ko ng tutorial video. Kayo din. Pwede din. Just message me. Okay? That's it for today. See you in my next video. Paalam!